know, last thing I remember, I'm riding down the road listening to music, getting ready to change my station, and next thing I know, I got an antler in my hand, clattering on my mouth, my ble blood shooting everywhere, and then my foot, how I got it, is, is up against the deer, and the thing's still alive, moving around. That thing come from out, out in the air. Matter of fact, I can kind of, you see, I kind of seen a blur, like from the, the sunroof and this. I didn't see nothing here. It was just from up here, you know, just like when my sister shot me, you know, I didn't, that was like, you know, you sitting in a baseball game and a ball from another field hits you. So I was kind of dramatizing the whole time. I'm thinking Tommy boy. It's a lie! <laughs> That's hilarious, you know, because I mean, you know, the odds of you fighting a buck in a, in a car, you know, it's crazy. You know, I grew up a gangster, so, you know, uh, I could get ready for gunshots and stuff, but nothing can get you ready for to fight a deer inside of a car. <laughs> We were only able to use the front portion because of when the cop shot him in the chest, he basically shot it with buckshot. I think I got some fried up right now. We can go chow down on. Yeah, so basically it's an $1,100 deer right here. Unfortunately, you got no beer to go with it because, of course, you got to have a nice beer for it. Next day, where I hit that deer, they had another person hit a deer exactly where I hit that one. Only that one got squished and splattered all over.